Yeah, I'll tell you what. I did update the Wikipedia day before yesterday. With the new comic page? Upload, but I made an update. What kind of update did you make? I believe it was a captain's log or a quote update. Well, like a quotes, really? Okay. I mean, what does that take? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I would have would have gone for to answer letters in the email, to answer mailbag letters, but I just yeah, you got the mail, you got the mailbag. I I, I, I just I just, I just could not I just could not stand the uh, image that was plaguing that was plaguing my Wikipedia that uh, Mal put up. Um, I just could not stand that. You know, Chris, if we confront our demons head on and defeat them, we come out stronger on the other side. You won't accomplish anything by running from the ads just because they're unpleasant to look at. I mean, you, you know, this is the Internet. You've seen tons of unpleasant crap. I'm sure I have. It doesn't stop me from going yeah. on the Internet. Um, and, and like I said, Sonichu is serious business. It's your job. You yep. should, and jo jobs are difficult. Jobs are hard. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've had I've had plenty of hard jobs. Like you, I don't think you have any real work experience, right? But um, trust me, jobs are difficult. Yeah. Anyway, uh, is there anything else? Um. Like I said, you know. Take Simona out of the comic and, in the comic, apologize to me and Mao and Evan for, for everything that I've listed. Yeah. And okay. I, I, did, I have the list here. Um, can I ask you what you're going to do to get your fans back? Because you've lost a lot of fans to me, but and I know you want them back. Yeah. Well, I'm going to continue my I'm going to continue my work and make my update. Okay. Well, you said that a lot, and your update pattern has drastically dropped in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. I mean, it seems like. Think of it this way, Chris. I'm, you know, I'm your competition, obviously, um, and it seems that with you know one little series of unpleasant to look at ads, I have completely shut down my competition. Now I'm a nice guy, and I'm trying to help you. And the average artist out there who's your competition sure as hell is not going to try to help you. So imagine what would happen if they found out, you know, oh, all I have to do is buy some ad space on his wiki and put up a, an ad he doesn't like looking at. And that will just stop his comic production entirely. I mean, are my ads really the only reason that you haven't uploaded pages in a week? Yeah, well, that and your very, yeah, busy day yesterday. Very dirty. Yeah, the very dirty ones. Yeah. Um, pardon me for being blunt, but that sounds kind of pathetic, don't you think? Mm. Takes one to know one. Takes one what? Pathetic person. I I wouldn't consider myself that. pathetic because I have you know thirty thousand fans. A good number of which I, I took from you, so I don't think I'm pathetic at all. I mean, why do you think I'm pathetic? Hmm. I do not have any reason at the moment. Well, or like you know, yeah, you you did pretty much had pretty much had to consider yourself weak to, you know, to to think you know to have your own bunch of fans to steal someone else's. Um, how else do you think fans come around, Chris? How else do you think any new franchise gets fans? They come from other yeah. sources. I mean, people people are not you know like living in a vacuum. You know, people. Most of my fans have been fans of other things before they became fans of my work. That's how competition works. Yeah. I mean, the better man wins. I'm productive, and I yeah. and I yeah, am I mean, consistent. Yeah, I me mean, still. The uh, method you use of putting your ads on my website—that—that that was just—I was like stealing from me. Um. I, yeah. You, yeah. Even though you paid to put the ads there, you did not pay my sis off directly. You paid Jack Thaddeus. 
Yeah, I rent, the ad, I rent the ad space from Jack. That's how it works. And it turns out people like Asper too, so. I mean, you know, how do you think, you watch a lot of TV, right? I mean, you see a lot of commercials. Do you think all those, the people that make those commercials for, you know, Coke and McDonald's and all that, do you think they are bad people because they, they use ads? Is that what you're saying to me, that I am bad just because I use ads? Good franchises not, advertise their products. Not, I am, I'm not saying that, but if you could see me competition, then it would just, it's just terribly wrong for you to try to encourage my fans to go to you by putting your, by putting your ads on your own competition space. Yeah, what if I had put up, like, I had actually successfully bought ads Ads, bought ads based on your website. I put my ads on your website. How would you feel about that? Um, honestly, I don't think I'd be worried because you don't respect your fans and you don't update for weeks at a time. Uh, I think I think my consistency and my stick to itiveness and my uh, work ethic, you know, is what makes my product superior. My fans would stay with me. I mean, they might go look at your your website, your quickie if you put ads online, but they probably wouldn't see much there worth keeping them around. There's a link to Sonichu on the Asperpedia front page, too, if you hadn't noticed. Mm. I mean, I'm not... Anyway, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. All right. Anyway, is there uh Yeah, okay. And, are we there, is a, there is another... I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry, you go ahead. You said there's another thing? There's another item... For, for your list, um, I want you to apologize to your fans for disrespecting them. You disrespect them in general, I mean, you know, all the time, but uh, with your mailbags because you don't offer thought-out responses and you delete most of the mail that comes to you these days. And um, I, there was a bit of a backlash with, I think, mailbag 50 or 51, what, whichever one that you you fabricated, you know, positive mails for instead of, you know, taking mails from the supply of existing mail. The one that you said, you know, the one where you, you, you basically wanted all your writers to trash me. Which is another thing I would add to the list, but I think I already covered, you know, wanting you to apologize for um, yeah. devoting all your time to trolling me lately. Yeah. I mean, every video that you've made, like, you know, your videos might be two or five or ten minutes long, and then it probably takes quite a bit of time to to um, upload the videos. You know, that's all time you could have spent making your comic, which would have kept fans around. But instead, the average fan sees two artists. They see, they see me, who makes a good comic, and they see you, who attempts to terrorize other artists. Let's see. Okay. Did I? Oh, go ahead. What do you think about that? Go ahead. No, no, no. Let's. Hey. I had another subject to bring up, but I'd like to have your response to this first. Uh, no, that's all right. Uh, you said you got another topic. Got another well, thing from my list. No, I'd like to have your response to that first. What do you? Do you really think it was a good idea for you to devote what you know, what little energy you did put into? this whole comic thing in the first place to um, attacking me. I mean, why would you think that was a good idea? Well, because you attacked me first by putting your ads on my website. Uh, that wasn't an attack. That was just a good business move. Well, it, to me, it was an attack. Well, it seems like to you everything is an attack. Seems like to you everything is theft when it's not. Hmm. Um, Chris, do you do you think it's okay for um, for you to use Pikachu and Sonic the Hedgehog as you know characters in your story and Transformers and uh, Meg Griffin? I mean, wouldn't uh, their original creators get mad that you're taking their characters? Well, first off, we're talking about my own 
uh, but uh, my own uh, 